This video shows how to configure a SmartCraft Connect module. Before going through the steps, here are a couple pieces of important information. First, be sure to go through all the steps during the configuration process. Don't pick and choose as you go. Skipping steps can result in features missing from your MFD, or the MFD displaying features that the boat is not equipped with. Second, changing the settings in the configuration menu will not turn off any features in your boat. If you turn an option off, it will remove the tile from your MFD, but the feature will still be available on the vessel. Start at the top of the list. Go through each step within each configuration category. The list starts with Configure Engines. Click the Edit button. Enter your engine serial number. Use the drop-down arrows to select the correct engine type and choose the engine model. If the app shows a list of recommended optional engine sensors, click the button and activate any accessories you've added to your engine. In this example, we've added block water pressure and pitot tube sensors. Click Save, then click Done. In Configure Gateways, the default settings are Receiving NEMA Chart Plotter data turned on, with CAN-H as a SmartCraft GPS source. We recommend keeping these default settings. Next up, Configure Tanks. Use the Edit button or Pencil icon to make changes for each tank if necessary. The Type category should be set to Fuel for a fuel tank, rather than Gasoline or Diesel. NEMA instance should be set to Auto unless a more advanced monitoring system is being used. Change the tank capacity as needed. A tank capacity greater than zero must be entered or tank data will not be broadcast to NEMA. Units can be set to either gallons or liters. Each tank can also be given a name. Repeat the process for additional tanks if necessary. Click Save. Station Keeping Features these can be toggled off if your boat doesn't have the features. This will save space on your display. Again, toggling these features off will not disable the features on the boat, it only removes them from the MFD. The same thing applies with autopilot features and with crews. You can toggle them on or off to add them to or remove them from your display. The next category is Steering Angle Source. Any current joystick system, e-steer system, electric helm vessel, Certain Mercruiser diesel applications and V12 outboards are equipped with a steering angle sensor. We have this set to Auto, which means we can see the readout for the steering angle sensor at the top of the MFD. This is especially important with the steerable gear case of the V12 Verado. Optional Engine Sensors This shows the list of optional engine sensors we added during the Configure Engine step. Tab Source if your boat is equipped with trim tabs, you can assign which device they're connected to. If the tab interface runs through an engine, PCM1 is starboard, PCM2 is port, PCM3 starboard inner, PCM4 port inner. Tab module is the most common. Mercury's current trim tab kit comes with a tab interface module. In this case, both the starboard and port trim tabs are running through the module. Finally, configure helms. Choose the number of helms on the boat, in this case, one. Once you've completed your configuration, click the Back button. The app will ask if you're sure you're done configuring. Click Done. If you click Cancel, the app will not save all the changes. The status circle means the changes are being communicated to the module. The SmartCraft Connect module may need to restart to make the changes take effect. Click Now to restart or if you choose later, the app will prompt you to restart later on. After selecting Now, the lights on the module flash and turn off. It doesn't take long for the module to reboot after configuration changes. On the app, we see our statuses are all green. Bluetooth connection, Wi-Fi connection, cloud connection is up to date, and the CAN and NEMA statuses are all green.